team is Larry Miller. There are five levels of drinking. Six if you live in a trailer park. <laughs> okay. But never mind that now. We will deal with five. See if these look familiar. Level one. Let's say it's 11 o'clock on a weeknight. You had a few beers. You get up to leave because you have work the next day when one of your friends buys another round. One of your unemployed friends. <laughs> well, here at level one, you think to yourself, oh, well, come on, for goodness sake, as long as I get seven hours sleep, I'm cool. Level two, midnight. Had a few more beers. You've just spent 20 minutes arguing against artificial turf. You get up to leave again, but at level two, a little devil appears on your shoulder. And now you're thinking, hey, I'm out with my friends. What am I working for anyway? Besides, why, as long as I get five hours sleep, I'm cool. Level three, one in the morning. You've abandoned beer for tequila. You see, at level three, you love the world. What a feeling. Oh. On the way to the bathroom, you buy a drink for the stranger at the end of the bar just because you like his face. <laughs> you get drinking fantasies. Fellas, hey, fellas, if we all bought our own bar, we could live together forever. <laughs> yeah, but at level three, that devil's a little bit bigger. And he's buying. <laughs> and you're thinking, well, come on now. As long as I get three hours sleep, and a complete change of blood. <laughs> I'm cool. Level four, two in the morning. And the devil is bartending. <laughs> For last call, you ordered a bottle of rum and a Coke. <laughs> you are artificial turf. This time on your way to the bathroom, you punch the stranger at the end of the bar. Just because you don't like his face. <laughs> you and your friends decide to leave right after you get thrown out. And one of you knows an after-hours bar, and here at level four, you actually think to yourself, well, oh <laughs> As long as I'm only going to get a few hours sleep anyway, I might as well stay up all night. Ah, well, that'd be good for me. I don't mind going to that board meeting looking like Keith Richards. Ah, besides, as long as I get 31 hours sleep tomorrow, <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> Level five, five in the morning. Whew. After unsuccessfully trying to get your money back at the tattoo parlor, one named Ruby. <laughs> you and your friends wind up across a border in a bar filled with guys who've been in prison as recently as that morning. <laughs> the kind of place where even the devil is going, uh, I gotta turn in. Bye-bye. <laughs> I gotta be in hell at nine. I've gotta brunch with Hitler. I can't miss that. I can't. <laughs> You're all drinking some kind of thick blue liquor. Usually used to clean combs. <laughs> A waitress with fresh stitches in her head comes over.
And you're thinking, someday I'm gonna marry that girl. <laughs> Suddenly, one of your friends stands up and screams, we're driving to Florida! <laughs> and passes out. <laughs> you crawl outside, you hit the worst part of level five. The sun. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, you walk out of a bar in daylight and people are on their way to work. Or jogging. And they look at you. They know. <laughs> and they say, Who's Ruby? <laughs> Look, folks, let's be honest. If you're 19 and you stay up all night, it's a victory. It's like you beat the night. You remember that feeling. But if you're over 30, that sun is like God's flashlight. <laughs> I'll say the same prayer then. Say it with me now. I swear. <laughs> I will never do this again. How long? As long as I live. And some of us have that little addition. And this time, I mean it.